Dave Brevik, I'm President and CEO of Gazillion, and we're showing you the San Diego Comic-Con build of a little demo of Marvel Heroes today. Uh, we'll start off by selecting one of the four characters we have to choose from to play today. We have Hulk, Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, and Wolverine. There are a large variety of heroes that you can choose from, and uh, I don't know which one you're going to choose, Matt. Scarlet Witch it is, a fine choice. Uh, Marvel Heroes is a uh, massive multiplayer game uh, that's being created by us. Uh, it's an action RPG, which is uh, very different for an MMO. Traditional MMOs have, uh, have not gone this direction. Uh, and it relies heavily upon uh, things that I've learned in my past where I created Diablo 1 and 2. Uh, here we see ourselves as Scarlet Witch in uh, the Xavier Institute of Higher Learning. And uh, Cyclops has something to say. Why don't we go on over there and, uh, and click Fight on him. And he's it. telling us to go talk to Professor X that there's urgent business. So we'll go down into the basement. And I, we believe, I believe that he is in Cerebro, uh, which you will recognize a lot of this stuff from the comic books and from the movies. Uh, there's a bunch of story that is being written by Brian Michael Bendis, and the uh, and so difficulty. here Professor X is going to introduce us to what our quest is going to be for today for the demo. So let's watch the motion comic. It's not your fault, little one. Homo sapien is the only true work of God. Mutant is the abomination of the devil. God doesn't want mutants. <laughs> this is the judgment. Senseless. They hate us so much. Just because we are different. Just because we are mutant. This is the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. I am Charles Xavier, and I have dedicated my life to educating and training mutants. The best and brightest of my students you know as the X-Men. and equality, where mutants and human could live together peacefully. But there are those who would die, or kill, to stop this from happening. That is why I've called you here. Anti-mutant activity has grown increasingly violent. Because of the rise in New York City's mutant population, the mutants took it upon themselves to form their own community, Mutant Town. But Mutant Town is now under siege by anti-mutant vigilantes. They call themselves the Purifiers. To my frustration, I must tell you, I don't know anything more about them. I need you to go to Mutant Town and help stop the growing violence. Show your support for us. Let the world know that its heroes so, and its uh, <coughs> This comic, uh, like I said, all the comics, the motion comics, tell the story. And uh, the story is being written by Brian Michael Bennis. And it, the, a lot of the motion comics, we have a variety of uh, artists that have worked with Marvel and drawn Marvel comics in the past that are doing a bunch of different motion comics. That, uh, Matt, who, that was Ron Lim, uh, I Ron think. Ron Lim was the penciler. Penciler. Uh, Scott, or, yeah, Scott Hanna was the inker, and then uh, Chris Soderbergh was the colorist. Right, so uh, very true to Marvel. And uh, this plays homage to a storyline that was from the late 70s, early 80s, the Mutant Massacre, which, uh, in which William Stryker creates this group called the Purifiers that are kind of a, a hate group that is trying to eradicate the mutants. And so Professor X has asked us to uh, apprehend William Stryker, so we're going to accept this quest and go on out and try and uh, stop William Stryker. This represents kind of a, uh, a condensed version of, of what will be many hours of gameplay just for kind of demo purposes. And we're going to teleport around the world using portals. That's not really the way that the game will be set up. Uh, so let's go on in. 
The area we just came from was a town. Uh, towns are not instanced in the game. Uh, they, so lots of people will be running around talking with people, getting quests and, and uh, talking to vendors and trainers and things like that. And now we've entered a public combat zone. This is uh, people will be running around doing their own thing. Matt's going to go around and uh, attack the, the enemies. This is a Diablo style game. So you point and click, click on the ground where you want to walk and then left mouse click to attack something uh, and Scarlet Witch is using her one of her a couple of different attacks. We also have other skills that sh you, you can do uh, besides just left clicking we have left and right click as well as some keys on the keyboard uh, that will allow you to use several different powers at once. Right now we have four different powers that you can choose uh, that come from a library of different skills that you can, that you can choose from. Uh, so she's going out and, and destroying the enemies. Uh, these purifiers are attacking her. And uh, there she used her big whammy. Uh, I believe that's alter reality, isn't that what that's called? Uh, we didn't have the no more mutants uh, <laughs> win button, but uh, we have just about that, which is that alter reality power. Um, so Scarlet Witch is uh, lots of things to interact with. Lots of enemies come around uh, and we're coming upon an open mission. Professor X has just talked to us uh, about that. This area is not instanced, uh, and so there'll be lots of people running around doing quests and things like that. And so an open mission has just started, telling us that there is a sentinel attack, and if we see them, everybody in the zone can come and participate in attacking the sentinel. Um, that uh, the sentinel itself, uh, you know, we're not exactly sure where it'll land. There's a lot of randomness associated with this. The, uh, the levels themselves are randomly generated, randomly laid out, and, um, and, uh, the, uh, and so is the loot. Uh, you can see that things are dropping. Oh, there's the Sentinel. Uh, the Sentinel is going to be uh, pretty hard to do by yourself there, but uh, good luck. Um, and don't stand in the fire, number one rule of video games. And uh, so Matt's going to work on this Sentinel for us, and that gives me a time to kind of catch up on the things I was going to kind of brief over. There's loot that drops on the ground from destroying the enemies, just like uh, most action RPGs. And the loot itself is randomly generated, um, has random affixes. Uh, this is something I've done before. And uh, so you will pick up, you know, it has, we have credits and we have other health packs as well as specific items that you can enhance your costumes with. There's an entire costume system that's got a bit of crafting associated with it. Uh, for demo purposes here in this build, we've just dropped, we drop wholly created costumes uh, that we'll show you in a, in a few minutes that will uh, alter your look. Uh, so he's uh, doing a pretty good job here. He's down to about a quarter of the health from the Sentinel and uh, it's not an easy thing to do by yourself. As I said, a bunch of people in the area can come and uh, interact and socially uh, work together, cooperate to, to participate in this event. And whoever does will get rewarded with kind of a, a pinata of loot at the end. And just about got Oh, nicely done. Well done there. And so a bunch of stuff has dropped. All the loot that drops in the game that you see on the screen will be for you and you, or, you yourself. Everybody sees their own individual loot drops. Uh, in this case, uh, he got a purple, a nice little purple item that he's going to equip that binds to your character. There are lots of different characters that you can play in the game. Like we said, there were four that we choose from at, at the beginning. But you can also switch whenever you would like to somebody new. Uh, and we'll have Matt take a little... Why don't we switch to Hulk there? Sounds good. That's a good one to choose from. So it, in the demo here, you instantly, uh, instantly change who you're attacking, but uh, that's okay. In the game, it's a channel power that takes a little bit of time. Uh, so we'll go start rampaging with Hulk. Hulk has a whole bunch of di different things he can do, including the ability to you know, become the angriest and use his clapping as, and destroy things, jump around. Um, Hulk's a lot of fun to play. He's, he really creates a lot of destruction. Uh, let's go. One other thing that we have is that there's a lot of interactive things that you can do with the environment. Uh, let's see if we can go find a car to pick up and throw. That's always a lot of fun. Uh, just our luck. Oh, there's one. That'll be good. Oh, jumbo. 
Can not do it. Just clap your way out of there. There you go. Oh, and he got the car. Uh, that's all right. Uh, and so uh, Hulk's also very fun to play. Uh, he's got a bunch of different skills. He's got uh, uh, his enrage. He has a, a jump, and he has a hand clap. He also has a really vicious headbutt, which is a lot of fun. There he is. There's Matt picked up a car, and he threw it on top of those guys. That's great. Um, stuns them and damages them. Finishes them off with a clap. So let's go. Uh, let's continue on here. Like I said, we have a bunch of different costumes in the game, and we'll go over here to the vendor and we'll talk to one. Oh, there's another person playing. Um, I want to switch back to Scarlet Witch and buy a costume for Costumes are completed here, but like I said, there's a crafting game associated with it. Uh, we'll have patterns and something called elements. The elements will give you the stats, and patterns will determine your look. There, he switched his look. Uh, and now we'll continue on... And there's other elements, the other things besides just the element that uh, you will collect to, cra to craft these costumes, not just, not just the elements. So let's go through the portal. Uh, we had talked to Dagger in town, and now we're, uh, the cloak was out here, and now we are going to uh, kind of finish our way, get to the bunker where Stryker is. Uh, along the way, uh, we're going to find out from Professor X that Magneto has beaten us to the uh, punch here, and he has decided to take matters into his own hands, and Magneto has decided to do a striker in his own special way. So uh, it looks like we are going to probably have to face uh, Magneto instead of striker. Uh, that is clung a whole bunch of people to the ground. Might as well use your, there we go. Very nice. This is a short range PBAOE that she runs around, does a bunch of damage. She has that, which is kind of like a wall of fire that walks, that goes across the entire screen. Uh, and then, of course, there's the obliterate everybody skill. The, uh, and so that guy is uh, really difficult to fight. He has a stunning ability, it makes, it, makes it easily interruptible. And now we're going to go try and stop, it turns out, Magneto from hurting Striker and dealing with him his own way, and, uh, and we're going to try and apprehend Striker after we deal with Magneto. So, sure enough, Striker's in the metal cage, and here's Magneto. Magneto is an example of one of our boss fights. Uh, he has a bunch of different things he can do. First and foremost, you just saw that uh, he can entrap you in a, in a cage. He also has this ability where he brings everybody in and blasts them out. Uh, and so he also has an individual hit that will knock you back. Uh, that's caught in the cage, and here comes the double whammy of caught in the cage. Oh, and he escapes just in time. Nicely done. We can finish big. Magneto here. He also has this ability, which uh, is kind of a field of swirling metal. You don't want to stand in that. It does a lot of damage. There's a bunch of different strategies to fighting Magneto, and uh, it really helps to have a group. Uh, in this case, it's a little easier because uh, Scarlet Witch is a ranged character, and so that makes uh, fighting Magneto from afar a little easier to run out of his blast that he has. So we have many different bosses in the game. Uh, there will be a whole bunch of different things you can fight. Uh, a whole bunch of very famous comic book characters that we all know and love and love yeah. to face off yeah. against, including uh, some that may not necessarily be typically villains, uh, which is exciting. And uh, you know that, that's one thing in the Marvel Universe is that you can often find the heroes fighting each other. Um, and so Matt is going to finish off Magneto here in theory. Nicely done. And uh, he's dropped a bunch of stuff, including a medal. That is another type of item that you can collect. and. Uh, the medals are uh, not only a stat enhancement, but also give you a little bit of uh, the same kind of power that that, that boss might have, so it'll be in theme with them. Uh, and that's kind of a reward for defeating some of the bosses. And now, 
striker is out of his cage and we can apprehend him and that's really kind of gives you a small taste of uh, of our demo so once again this is marvel heroes and we thank you for watching uh, we don't have a release date at this time it'll be uh, out sooner than you might expect though